Hello together. I have for you a new developer board. Maybe you remember I made already a video from Seed Studios the Shia O board, the Anna F52840. This was coming in this package here. And I'm making an unboxing with this one and introduce you how to program it. And now Seed Studio has a new board and they send it to me in the earlier adapter program. So I'm quite happy that I have it already here. And you see, it's a nice package. I hope you get it later also in this package. Yeah? We will directly make an unboxing and seeing if, uh, yeah, if we can program it with the NIF Connect SDK. Let's take first a look on the SOC on the new board. Nordic Semiconductor announced the NIF 54 series around one and a half year ago. And then it took a while until they deliver the first chip from this series. On the old board is the NIF 52840, and now we have the NIF 54L15. And uh, there is now an ARM Cortex M33. So clock speed is now 128 megahertz. And we have also a coprocessor, which you can use for energy efficient uh, applications, for example. But mostly we will use only the main core for the most application, but you have uh, the possibility to using the coprocessor. The memory is the same with 256 kilobyte. And um, we have now a flash RAM, um, non-volatile memory, as I count it all together now, from 1.5 megabyte. And there are actually three different versions from this chip, the L05, the L10, and the L15. But I think mostly uh, will be used the L15. This is only uh, the non-volatile memory are different, and I don't think you save a lot of money for buying the smaller version. Now there is an ADC with a resolution of 14-bit on it, uh, compared with 12-bit only with the NIF52840. Nordic has uh, also announced a uh, high-performance uh, chip, the NIF54H20. Um, then uh, there should be a multiple ARM cortexes on it and also multiple RISC uh, core processors. And the clock speed is again much higher, I think 320 or something like this, but uh, you can still not get it. So I don't know when this is available. And for the most application, this chip is probably the choice you should make. Before we are unboxing the developer board, we take a look here. On the design, we have here a USB C port again, we have a user LED, we have a charge LED, we have a reset and user button. And this time, they are not so small like with the Shia or NIF52840, which was really difficult to push the button there. So they are a little bit bigger and downer. Uh, here's the Nordic chip and uh, onboard antenna. And in the back, again, the most important thing is maybe that you can again solder a lithium battery there. And when you want to program it with a debugger, you have here's a connection, but it's difficult to solder. You need there's a special needle. I think um, this adapter is called TC2030 or something like this. Yeah. Uh, here you're seeing the pin numberation. Yeah, when we want to program later the pin, we have here also the I square C here. I mean, you can change it when you want it anyway in NIF uh, Connect SDK. And here is a power supply 3.3 volt when you want to use it for a sensor and a 5 volt power supply. Uh, so it's similar to the GIO board before the NIF52840. So now let's unbox it and see what is inside. Actually, it's mostly the board, yeah, but it's really a nice package. Yeah, I hope really they make it, uh, it as a default package and not the 
plastic packet. You see here's a small module, yeah, USB-C at the back. And here inside are also pin headers when you want to solder them. Yeah, and a really nice package. There's also already a nice wiki with the documentation, uh, how to start and how to configure all. Actually, they make it quite good. So let's see if we can get it to work. Yeah? Um, first, you're seeing here two different versions. Again, there's also a sense version with the sensor on it. Um, I have here both, I got both version, but um, it doesn't matter at the moment. Uh, I think you can, yeah, they changed already the links. You can click here and get them now. Um, you can even directly order it. You see that they are not so expensive. Again, 10 euro around the smaller version. You see here also the specification and the comparison. Yeah, here's the NIF 52840. And you're seeing here's the new versions, NIF 54L15, yeah, with a low power co processor on it and the faster ARM Cortex M33. Yeah, also more RAM. I mean, there are different versions. There is a version L10 and L05, but Actually, they are not so interesting. They're having just less non-volatile memory and since they're probably a little bit cheaper. Uh, I don't know why here is the sensitivity a little bit smaller from the documentation. What I see is actually is the receive sensitivity a little bit better from the new uh, chip, but it's difficult to measure and it depends also what you're using. If you're using Bluetooth Low Energy and um, IEEE. 840, 802.15.4. Uh, Here you're seeing the uh, ADC uh, power connection. And here, what's also interesting is the temperature range is going much higher even. I don't know if there's really a use case. So power supply, 3.7 to 5 volt. Uh, here you see also the hardware overview. And now we're coming to the part how we install it on NIF Connect SDK. We skip the whole installation process from NIF Connect SDK and Visual Studio Code since I made there already another video which you can check out. The so main question is how we can run the Blinky example first now. Yeah? Um, so let's install the Blinky. We make here create new application, copy a sample and send Blinky. Uh, choose the second one, yeah, not the first one, the one from the Safia example here. Just click enter, open. And now we have here the Blinky example, yeah. The problem is that we don't have uh, for the building process the right board here now inside. Uh, so we have to download the board um, specification to the board uh, package from Seed. And there's a link you see here, GitHub, yeah? a GitHub link. Just um, copy it. And uh, we download it also from Visual Studio Code. We go here inside and I make a new terminal. And there that I can run Git directly. I'm making a NIF Connect terminal. I go into the directory from the SDK and just download this package here. Uh, already there. And then take a look here. <clears throat> we have here the Safia folder with the boards. And this one we have now to copy in our new project. Yeah? So I go there, I have it on Nordic Blinky. 
and there's a bold board folder and I just delete this and place this one here. Yeah? And then I can directly build our Blinky app example. Yeah? I choose here at build configuration. And now you see here is the Shia O board already selected. Uh, there are different ones use the uh, CPU app. Yeah? This is for the main core. So the other one is for the coprocessor and so on. But for the most application, you use also always this board target. Just go on generate and build. So the build did work quite fine. Yeah, and now we only have to get this on our board. For transferring the VMware now on the board, we have to install something first. There is no UF2 bootloader like with a GIO NF52840. You can directly flash it with VEST, but uh, you have to install something first. Yeah, you see here, <coughs> download burn, burn in plugin. And uh, here with chocolate, you have to uh, install this first. For this, we are starting here a terminal at administrator or PowerShell uh, and type in the command. I just copy and paste it and execute this. So afterwards, install open OCD. Yes. Okay, so this is installed here it's standing. Now we can check if this is everything working. Yeah, does work. And I don't know if it's directly there now. First, let's plug in our developer board. See here it's connected, and in the device manager, you see it also as serial device here. And now what was the next step? Let's see. We have to choose by manage tool chain, open terminal profile. Yeah, it's just a NIF terminal like I did before. And there you have to type invest flash okay we have really to close here the terminal before because it's not in the environment yet so i close all terminal and i make a new one and here i make a new and i have connect terminal and now I make a rest flash and then he should find the open. Yeah. You see it's flashed on the board. Let's see if I can directly now make it here with flash. Should also, no, there's no device connected. If we need to type in here rest flash. And you see, yeah that the LED here is also blinking. Okay, we check if this is really working what we are doing. So let's make the sleep time a little bit slower, 100 millisecond. We build it again. And we make again rest flash. And then the LED should run much faster. Yeah, so it's working. Uh, 
beautiful. Uh, we don't have to transfer like uh, you have to uh, firmware manually on the board. We can just use West Flash. From my side, I really like the new developer board. You get it for a couple of bucks, you know, and uh, you have the advantage from the old board. There's uh, for charging the lithium batteries there, which you can directly connect and then charge it with a USB port, uh, easily connecting a few sensors, and it's really small and has USB-C. And this time you can even flash it directly with West Flash. You don't need the UF2 bootloader anymore and push the reset button. So it's quite comfortable. And the NIF54L15 is a clear upgrade over the NIF52840. It has more processing power and is much more energy efficient and so on. So uh, yeah, I hope you have fun with it and See you the next time.